Your recommendations provide a comprehensive blueprint to preventing children from entering the juvenile justice system. While implementing all of them would no doubt be beneficial, in this time of budget cuts, which could make the biggest impact? I'd say that the biggest uh, change that could happen that would be positive for the kids and the issues that we identified would be an increased awareness of the child find uh, obligations. And what I mean by that is, is that there is a state law that requires any child who is either in need of special education services or at risk of special education uh, services uh, to be identified and get that referral and then eventually get those services. There's two different systems. You know, there's the child fine requirement is through the educational system, but we also believe that another low-hanging fruit, as you said, is this notion that the pediatric primary care providers who are uh, really the kind of constant in these kids' lives can and should be screening for mental health issues as early as, you know, almost infancy and all the way up, especially given the reimbursement that's available through the Medicaid system, through that EPSTT program. And through greater utilization of those screenings and greater reimbursement strategies that are produced by the Department of Social Services, we believe that these early identification uh, matters can be improved and increased and hopefully the early referrals can be made for some of these kids so that early strategies can be taken. What's the next steps after this report? I think there's three different pools of people that we need to target. Uh, one pool are the pediatricians that Jay just mentioned. Uh, the second are the school-based health clinics because we look at that as a unique opportunity to reach a lot of these kids if they look at health in a much more broad uh, perspective. And the third area are the parents and the parent groups uh, that are formed. We've really looked and, and concentrated in the urban areas because that's where the kids are the most at risk, uh, have been exposed to the most violence and trauma. Uh, that's the group for which a lot of the serious mental health problems, if they were addressed earlier with certain special education services, could be ameliorated.